just missed a bit. I missed a bit that I didn't fill in before. And a bit. Welcome back. Apparently, at some point, PlayStation have, are actually going to launch what they codenamed Project Spartacus. Okay. It's basically going to be Sony's answer to the Game Pass. Mm. Well, didn't, I thought, didn't they already have the whole, like, uh, PlayStation Now thing? Yeah, well, that's going to be, this. that's going to get joined in with... Um, the PlayStation, like, I don't know, PlayStation Pass? It's basically right. a PlayStation Plus membership. Oh, it's beginning in June. Sony will expand its PlayStation Plus service to encompass more benefits and features, while the standard option we've been subscribed to for years will remain under a slight rebranding. Two more tiers are being introduced to offer its membership more as a part of their subscription. So basically, the free tiers are going to be... Um, Monthly PS4, PS5 downloadable games, exclusive discounts, cloud storage, online multiplayer access, a downloadable catalogue of nearly 400 PS5, PS4 games, PS3 game streaming, PS1, PS2 and PSP game catalogue for download and streaming and time limited game trials. Um, but the only way you're going to get the time limited game trials... The PS1, PS2, P, uh, PSP games catalogue for download and streaming and your PS3 game streaming is if you're on the uh, what they are going to class as PS Plus Premium. Okay. It's going to be... Um, Now, so the standard price. <laughs> All right, hold on to your ads. Yeah, the standard price is going to be six ninety nine for so for the standard tier. It's six ninety nine, um, six pound ninety nine, eight euros ninety nine, or nine dollars ninety nine for a month. Mm -hmm. Yearly. It's obviously forty nine ninety nine, uh, forty nine pounds ninety nine p, fifty nine euros ninety nine, fifty nine dollars ninety nine. So the PS Plus Extra monthly is going to be ten pound ninety nine. So it's going to that's going to be cheaper than the Xbox Game Pass, but that only then give it. Basically, if you're on what I'm on now, I won't get access to the downloadable catalog. I'd have to go onto the PS Plus Extra to get the downloadable catalog. Mm -hmm. Which is priced 10 99 €13.99 uh, or $14.99. Mm -hmm. Yearly, 83 99 Right. Or it's going to be ninety nine euros and ninety nine, and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine. Mm -hmm. PS yeah. Plus Premium is going to be thirteen pound forty nine a month, sixteen euro ninety nine, or seventeen dollars and ninety nine cents for a month, which isn't bad. That, yeah, I, that I, would, I, mean, I would pay that monthly rather than yearly because right. yearly is nearly £100. 
It's basically right. 119 dollars a year or 119 euros, where it's 17 dollars and 99 cents mm-hmm. for the month. Which, you know, if I could, if I could do the the game pass yearly, I'm probably paying probably nearly what Sony's gonna offer. So I don't mind paying thirteen pound forty nine a month for the ultimate or the premium PS Plus if it's going to chuck in the the PlayStation Now side of things with it. That doesn't that that all if it's going to chuck all that in that doesn't bother me. But yeah, kind of the yearly has put me off going yearly whereas now where you know you're paying forty nine pound ninety nine uh was it forty nine ninety nine a month yeah forty nine ninety nine a month just for basically all we get at the moment is multiplayer um and then the monthly PS4 PS five games and the cloud storage, that's about it. I, I just... Yeah, I knew they were doing Sp- Project Spartacus. Or codenamed Spartacus. I knew they were going to try and look at Rival in the Game Pass. But, I'm... Yeah, I'm not overly sure about going yearly with that. I mean, it'd save money, but it's having that amount of money up front each year. Right. So this is funny. I just broke into um, you know, that little like lab, underground lab you found. Mm. <laughs> My spelunking just kind of landed me here back uh in that back there so i'm like all right well i guess i'll take it because my inventory uh and backpack here is full cool anyway so Ooh, got some more gold I'll take it this way back that's some more gold so that'll make tim happy yep yeah because we gonna need more gold for placers and whatnot yeah Lawyers. I mean, I have got. What have I got? I've got mm. cobblestone. I've got some. And, oh, I've got some andesite. I know you'll need andesite. Some coal. Thirty-three lapis. 37, uh, sorry, 17 gold, 16 cinnabar, 13 crushed iron, some diorite, gravel, some sapphire, three sapphires, two flint, another ruin, granite that's got prism, so I'm guessing that's that's chisel, and then obviously granite cobblestone. So I got um, a birch pantry. Oh, right, okay. So from the um, um, randomium or deposit. Oh, right. So that's from Farmer's Delight. I'm putting it above your cooking pot. Okay. All that, all that, all that, all, uh, the stove and the cooking pot and everything I'll be getting taken with us when we move. Oh, sure, yeah. Because there's no point investing materials again into it when I've already can just take it with me. I do need to more work. Coal. I have got more. I've got some coal, but I need to when I get back up. Make some torches. Ooh, some more iron. So, I also got an X petrified orb from Forbidden in Arcanus. Mm. Um, 
I'm or that was makes an uh, eternal Stella. Whatever the Christ that is. Have you ever messed around with the Arcana? Uh, no. I've seen it crop up a couple times in some mod packs, um, but I've never Fair enough. Okay. done anything with it that I recall. So, oh, I forgot you. Ooh, you know, ruby that, and some or, nickel. Book. Uh, for <laughs> for forbidden for forbidden macon like a necronomicon but yeah uh, forbidden macon. um so i guess that's their like book seeing a book and arcane crystal dust um how do we get arcane crystal dust um uh, let's see oh we smelt that from arcane crystals we get the dust, and oh, we just need one. We got a book? Yeah, we do got a book. I'm mm. gonna do this real quick out of curiosity. Cause we got some of those crystals. I'm sure I found them on bedrock level. Ooh, some, I'm getting quite lucky on the gold. That was good. So I just I just put all my spoils through the uh, yeah, the, um, so we'll. See. And then I, I'll be able to test the other side of that to see how well the rest of this works. So let's find out. I should have. Okay, I got 64 gold dust. So let's put this through this and let's see if this washes. Yep, that looks good. And then it should hit that and then it'll. Uh, oh, yeah, it would, but. I, um... You got in the way? No, I... When I was demonstrating this to you earlier, I, um... Flipped it around. Oh, right, okay. so it didn't pick it up. Yeah, there we go. So now we got two stacks of gold nuggets. Nice. Alright, so, yeah, so that seems to work pretty well. Alright, so I made myself a Forbidden Macon. I wonder if... I wonder... It's empty. What? What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> I wonder if it'll be like... Where only one person can use the book then? Oh uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I wonder if it'll be like that again. Because yeah, I remember I, I couldn't use the Necromonicon because... Well yeah, because it's... Yeah, the way it works, it's player specific and not generic but uh yeah i don't know Let's see but at the moment um i open the book and it's blank so hmm. okay that's curious so there's got to be a, a special way of like reading it i've got some lead there if i got some cobblestone i can use to make a let the uh the lead out a step up. Okay. Now, in theory, I should be able to just dump all that there, right? And it should wash. Let's, let's watch it wash. Make a step. Yeah, that converted. Yeah, that converted. Awesome. Sweet. So, was there enough time? Okay. What? Was there enough time to... Yeah, yeah, it's all turning into nuggets and then being put into the chest. So the next thing I'm doing is setting up recipes on the um, our blueprint board here. Yeah. So then, then that way we can just come up here and um with the with the nuggets instead of having to go to the crafting table because mm. um, the nice thing is you can just like shift shift right click with all the nuggets you have and then bam they're all into oh, okay. all into ingots uh from from the uh board that that'll be handy but obviously i needed the nuggets to set up the recipe so yeah so i did that one um 
Okay, so, oh yeah, nickel. Okay, I already did nickel. And that, so yeah, this works pretty well. So if I had this connected instead of in two different places, like we could go direct from millstone down to washing machine and then uh, into chest, but whatever. And technically, instead of going into a final barrel, I could put it into a um, mechanical press basin yeah. to collapse them down into ingots first too so yeah, but I, remember I, you, I remember you doing i mean I, I i did that before i just did it with a belt instead of using the uh the washing machine so yeah i don't know the washing machine actually seems kind of kind of nice and fair it's like seems to work without any issues i don't know what the downfall of of it would be over time I all think... right so we're up to 21 stacks of oak logs didn't didn't it just come down to speed in the end? Well, it's always... I mean, that was... Um, I mean, I don't know what would be faster, this or that other setup. Um, because either setup, it takes time for the washing process. Um, this one, I think, the way it's set up here might be actually slightly faster getting from you know, doing the washing process and then going to the next step versus the belt, to be honest with you. Yeah. But, who knows. Hmm. Hi. Hi. Desperately out of storage space up here. Yeah, well, that's why I moved at least the cobblestone and dirt and stuff over to storage drawers. Just went exploding. Um. They're full, they're full. That's not full. That's not full. So we've got a lot of like little nuggets as well lying around at the minute. Yeah, um, extra nuggets. We you can probably put the extra nuggets out out here, because um, this is where the nuggets kind of end up anyway. So I guess after turning them into ingots, any leftovers we can just kind of store out here in this barrel. Yeah. Um, so, because that's where the end result processing ends up anyway, so it seems that we're not occupying a chest in here. I've just put, I've just dumped all the stuff I brought back from the mine into the crushy thing. Yeah. Sweet. Um... Yeah, that's a lot of iron nuggets. Wonder if it's just gonna be worth like
guys are probably an item, but I'm just... I'm just trying to conserve a little bit of space. So what I've done to the appetite and the some of the lap some of the lapis that I can, I've just mm -hmm. blocked them for now. Right. But I know we can unblock them. I know we can unblock them again, just to get some try and get a little bit of space back in the chest. Yeah. So. Really? There isn't one in this? Ah, oh, balls. That's annoying. What? There's no Tinker's Bow this time. The Tinker's Bow didn't really work, though, did it? Last time. Um. Hmm. I don't remember. Is my character wandering around right now with arrows stuck in him? Um. I don't see any. All right, because it's weird. Because on my invent, like inventory graphic, there's like two arrows. There's like three arrows that are stuck to me. Weirdly enough. Hmm. We've got a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, but I want to get that storage drawer going the way I did because I knew we were going to fill up on logs pretty quick. Mm. Um. You killed a bat, did you? Before? Mm -hmm. well, I've killed bats.
do we have any um let's see yeah. yes gold eight nickel lead oh i gotta set up zinc too on the board yeah we haven't got enough uh, yeah, we're on the, more lead should be coming through yeah the lead's still getting um, done but let's see let me set up um zinc on the board okay um so there we go there's that um, yeah the lead hasn't been gone through the crochet yet yeah so because i was gonna say i know we have i know we have plenty of um i know at least i mined up between the two of us mined up enough lead to be able to make some ingots from it uh okay so let's see i got that and then i got that all right and then that and that like that okay Yeah, I think it's still running through the zinc dust. I think it's still running through the zinc at the minute. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to do some of these iron nuggets? Yeah. So, we should be nice and quick on the blueprint board. Just freeze up a space because there's quite a lot of iron there, that's all. Bears back in there for now. So we have like seventy four off all them. There was seventy four extra. Yes. That's cool. Yeah. I'm guessing you're making Is that the Andes is that uh, is that the andesite machine thing? Yeah. Okay. Those. All right. Some regal chassis. Okay, that'll be enough there. Need some blue. Okay, so let's see what we got on that. So let's see, we got the one chassis there. And then we got some glue. We still have that diamond pickaxe as well, though, in spare.
should be good there. And then we need the other chassis like that. It's now starting to run through the uh, lead by the looks of this. Cool. Yeah, once we get some red nuggets, I'll uh, set up the other recipe there. Um. Okay. The chest. Some right. nuggets in there now. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's backwards. <laughs> Brilliant. You've done something backwards, I take it. Yeah. Oops. Um. All right, so, yeah. There we go, that's correct. Sweet. Oh, we got over a stack of, um, lead now. Over a stack of what? Lead. Nice. Alright. Well, now this new processing definitely seems to be helpful. Yeah. Okay, so, I think this is good to go. It just needs, um, some water and some seaweed. Oh, you're doing your uh, kelp growth. Yep. Well, that's in the kelp is still in the food chest. So yeah, because we're running low on kelp, uh, I'm gonna need more, mm. a lot more. So I'm like, okay, let's get the kelp going. 
Yeah. Um, okay, so I need to make myself another bucket. Where's your bucket on your bucket? No, yeah, I'd use it in a crafting room. It's it. The, the... Chest at the end. Oh, yeah, that's where we had that extra one. By the Tinker Station, there's a bucket. There was a bucket in there. Yeah, well. And there it shall remain, unfortunately. Because my bu my bucket's in my backpack, so. Oh yeah, because I had to use uh. Had to use my bucket in a recipe, which consumed uh, the bucket as part of the uh, uh part of the recipe. That's a hmm of either something not working how we predicted. Oh. Yeah, not how we predicted. Um, yeah, I got to uh, stop the flow of water to the lever. So I forgot that that is going to cause the lever to pop off and then the whole thing stops. Yeah. So. Now we know. I guess you're trying to fill it up here. Yeah. Yeah, that looks right. That was good. So, I take it the like spiky things when it starts growing will yeah 
start chopping it. Yep. So once it gets, um, so that just goes the second layer. So then as the kelp grows upward, it immediately gets chopped, um, or harvested by the, um, by the harvester. Mm. Um, so the harvester is, um, for crops basically. So you've got yeah. the saw obviously for the, the, you know, tree logs and stuff. The harvester, th this is how you could do autom uh, automated uh, regular farming, too, like if you had a wheat farm or something like that. Yeah. Now, um, with a wheat farm, of course, you'd have to do something similar to the tree farm in terms of having those uh, deployers in the back. Yeah. Um, you know, and there's other ways of, like, configuring harvesters. Like, you don't have to go around like this. You could uh, connect them up to, like, um, rail cart stations, so it actually sweeps back and forth. Um you can put it on sensors so that it'll mm. like sense when, you know, during certain conditions, so it only sweeps back and forth when during a certain condition. Like Create allows for a lot of flexibility in different kind of like contraption um, designs, which is why they're called contraptions, because there's just a lot of different ways of doing the same kind of thing. Um, so, which, which obviously, when it actually drops stuff off, I guess. You'll have to go down and plant more. No. No. Because it's not harvesting the stuff on the bottom. It only takes the second layer, like sugarcane. Yeah, but what I'm saying is when it's harvested, so you have to go and plant something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant, was you'll have to okay. go and plant... Because you obviously it looks like you're missing a lot of area there. Yeah, because I planted what what we had left. So yeah, mm -hmm. as it as it does get some of that, I'll have to fill that out more uh, to fill the whole area. Let's see. So I'm gonna need some of those. Have a barrel, and then I need how do I make a, a goes bonk. How do you get that achievement? Because we're linked. Did you not get it? I mean, I got a long time ago. Like, that's why I don't know what that... Like, I figured it was based on having actually used the machine. Yeah, it just came up then. That's... Yeah, that's why I'm like, why... <laughs> don't know. Yeah, weird. Weird. Okay, so I got that. Alright, so this isn't ideal, but whatever. Okay, so that'll put the kelp um, down there in that barrel. So. Uh, oh, shit, no, I'm doing this wrong. I'm doing everything wrong. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be back by one. That's really weird. What? Well, Ooh. there's fish in there. Oh yeah. No, that can happen. Bodies, water, and all. Now, yeah, there we go. And there's some kelp. Excellent. Thank you. So, and the harvesters, unlike the saws, are not, like, dangerous. Like, this contraption will push me around down here, but doesn't actually, like, do any damage to me. I don't know. So that one will... Unlike the saw, that will damage you. Yeah, because the saws can also be used for um, mob farms. Yeah. Oh, but drowning still hurts me. Mm. Just so you know. I don't know what the hell I was thinking there. Um, okay, so... Um, 
All right, so now we'll have to wait for a little bit more to come in. But yeah, so we got some fishies down there. So that's a source of fish too, I guess now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. All right, so we've got uh, automated kelp and automated trees. Nice. And um, automated nugget making. Almost. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. Um, almost. Almost. I mean, I could totally rejigger this and yeah. get it automated, which I will do at some point, but uh, I figured we do have a system that works, you know, like it requires a little bit of manual labor, but still. Uh, increasing our own ore yields, so that's yeah. kind of the important bit. It hasn't started. It must be starting to sort of do the gold as well now. Finally. Because it's just working cool. through the cinnabar at the minute. So that does that. Because the only other further way of dealing with this, because right now we're just running the dust through the washing. Yeah. Uh, which gives us one to two. Um, the other thing that can be done is to put the, um, like, if you wanted to get the most out of this is um, you actually run the, the crushed stuff that we mine up mm. through a pulverizer um, because milling right now turns the crushed into one to three dust. Yeah. But we could we could run it through crushing wheels and that would give us one to three to six. Didn't or we, didn't we pulverize we... it and give it uh, and it generates one to six. Didn't we what? Scott said, so didn't we think about looking at doing them wheels? Yeah, we will last... at some point. No, but I'm just wondering, didn't we, I'm just wondering, did we get that far last time? Just because I'm sure we were after, at that point, I don't know if we were after sand or something. Or gravel. Well, we're, we were after well, we're trying to. We were probably trying to automate um, sand. Yeah. So. All right, now there's my call. I'll be right back. Okay. So I'll be back in a while. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. 